everybody, it's Lon Seibin and the folks from Lenovo let us borrow their new B50 all-in-one PC. This is a uh, computer that has everything built right into the monitor, so it's all in one package. Uh, this is a 23.8 inch device, touchscreen as well, and 1080p. So you've got a full HD display, uh, touchscreen, and it's IPS with some really nice viewing angles on it. So if you've got a family using this, everybody can kind of gather around uh, and still get a pretty good look at uh, the screen. What I like most about it is what it's got under the hood. So it's got a quad-core i7 processor. This is one of the fourth generation Intel Haswell processors, 2.2 gigahertz, 12 gigabytes of RAM. It also has its own discrete GPU, so it doesn't just rely on the Intel graphics that a lot of these machines tend to do. It has an NVIDIA GPU, an 840A, uh, with two gigabytes of its own memory as well. So you've got uh, some decent gaming prowess. It's not going to be a powerhouse gaming device, but it's going to play games better than a machine, again, that relies on the Intel integrated graphics. So a uh, pretty nice uh, little layout there for the horsepower. You'll see it really perform quite well with a lot of office tasks and some other things. It also has the ability to uh, plug in additional devices into the back of it so you can use it as a monitor as well. So I'll push the button on the side here and you can see I've got a game console plugged in. So you can use this as uh, an additional monitor. It doesn't capture any footage, so you can't use this to grab you know, footage off your game console or whatever, but it will act as a monitor. So you could plug in an Xbox or a PlayStation or something or another computer even uh, and use this as a uh, monitor without having to turn the computer off too. So you've got uh, some ability to uh, bring some of that stuff in. Uh, it's got two USB 3.0 ports on the side along with a SD card reader and uh, microphone input and output. On the back, it has uh, three USB 2.0 ports. Uh, one of those ports will be occupied with the wireless dongle for the keyboard and mouse, which of course is uh, optional. It comes with it, but you could use your own uh, USB thing or whatever. I think it's got Bluetooth on board also, so if you don't want to give up that USB port, you could uh, find some alternatives for that. Uh, on the back also is the HDMI input for the monitor as well as an HDMI output, so you can plug uh, this into a, another screen, which I will be doing right now, so we can kind of get a feel for uh, how things perform. So what I'm going to start with first, before we get into the gaming, is just some of the uh, basic uh, work kind of tasks. And watch how quickly Word just starts up here. It just flies right open. Uh, you can get right to work. Uh, what's nice about it is that, again, because it's got that i7 processor and that NVIDIA GeForce uh, GPU, you've got really decent rendering here on uh, complex kinds of documents. So you can very quickly move things around. Uh, the text will flow almost immediately. So if you're looking for something that uh, can make your work more efficient and you're you know, not happy with how slow your current computer is, this one will certainly work a lot faster because they've uh, built in a lot of uh, decent hardware here to make it uh, run smoothly. Uh, web browsing is also really fast on it too. I'm just going to pop open Chrome and I'll pull up the New York Times here so you can see how fast things just come up. So really fast at page rendering. Uh, even on the Octane benchmark test, it scored uh, over 27,000, which is a test of how well it can render web pages and process JavaScript, which is what uh, many web pages are kind of programmed with. So uh, really nicely performing device is uh, probably among the fastest I've uh, actually tested uh, here in the studio. I tend to look at uh, you know, kind of the mid to low end of the market. So we're seeing a lot more performance now working its way down. This is about a $1,200 uh, computer. So web browsing really good. Uh, office tasks are really good as well. Now let's take a look at some gaming. All right, we'll start with everybody's favorite game here. This is Minecraft running, and it's getting really decent frame rates. We're getting well over 40 frames per second. Uh, depending on what you're looking at, you can even get a little bit higher, sometimes close to 50. Uh, so really nice performance. I should add that I am running it with the OptiFine plugin, but as you can see, we're running at the full uh, 1920 by 1080 and getting uh, some really decent performance out of this. So I think you'll be quite uh, pleased if you have a Minecraft player in your life. Uh, they will certainly enjoy playing Minecraft on this one. This next game is the Next Car Game Wreckfest. It's one of these early release games on Steam. And what I like about this one is that it really taxes both the processor and the GPU. There's a lot of physics here, in addition to a lot of uh, graphics with the cars moving around and everything else. So a good test of everything. And this is running at 720p, which is what a lot of folks uh, recommend setting uh, this NVIDIA GeForce 840A to uh, in games like this because uh, it does better at 720p than it does at 1080p. And I can confirm that uh, in some of my own tests here. This is definitely the sweet spot for uh, this GPU. So it should be able to keep up with a lot of the, the more modern games out there. I am shooting the screen directly here so the display mirroring doesn't interfere with the frame rate. So I think, uh, again, 720p is where you'll want to be, especially on a lot of the newer, more modern games. 
Now, it's also a pretty good movie player. It's got some decent speakers on the front here. Uh, this is a Blu-ray MKV. I'm streaming over my network, actually, from downstairs. There is a Ethernet port on the back as well. It also has a DVD burner built in, so you have this uh, DVD drive here. Uh, we'll not play Blu-rays through this, of course, but uh, you can burn DVDs and play back DVD movies on this as well. So uh, pretty good for uh, multimedia and that sort of thing. There's also a one terabyte hard drive built in too, so uh, you have some room to uh, store some of your multimedia files. Not an SSD, it's a regular spinning hard drive, but uh, certainly a lot of uh, storage space available. So that is uh, the Lenovo B50, and I think it's a pretty good machine. It actually performs quite well. I like the fact that they've included a lot of uh, horsepower, both with the uh, discrete GPU uh, as well as uh, having that quad-core processor, the 12 gigabytes of RAM. It's a really complete computer uh, that I think will perform quite well as a family machine or something like that. I think it's a pretty decent value for what you're getting, and it's also pretty convenient to have everything in an all-in-one package. It does make a little bit of fan noise when it's on, so the fan is always running on it, and you will hear it. And you also hear that hard drive spinning a little bit as well. So it's not completely silent. Uh, the fan doesn't get too loud, but you will uh, hear it while it's running. But uh, beyond that, I think it's a pretty solid machine and uh, something worth considering if you're in the market for an all-in-one. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.